So here in question, it is specified that we need two strings and each string should terminate with a dollar symbol. Okay, so to show that end of string has reached here, we have the option to give dollar symbol. So for example, if we need to combine say good morning, first string will be good dollar symbol and second string will be morning and then a dollar symbol okay so this will be str1 and this will be str2 okay dollar symbol is given here and using getters we can get both the strings and here we should give you sir the instruction that the terminating character should be dollar symbol so we are doing it just because the question is specifying it okay and how we can combine it there are different ways we have a string function that is strcat where you can directly give say str1 comma str2 in a single line you can concatenate both strings so that is using library function without using library function means we have to write the code for that so this program is written such that the combination is written in str1 itself so how we can write it say if str1 it is having say four symbols if that be the case, say it is like this, good dollar symbol. If this is the case, then till this point is reached, after that, here it can start with morning. Okay. If that be the case, new str1 will be combination of both the strings. So, what we are doing is till this point has to be reached. So, the first thing is for i is equal to 0, str1 of i not equal to dollar symbol. That means only till d will be reached dollar symbol corresponding index will not be reached because this is the condition it is not equal to dollar symbol and after that i plus plus it is incrementing so once dollar is reached the i value will be here here you have to add second string so till this index is reached in this line say line number 11 and here we are terminating it with a semicolon when we give a for a uh, loop without any body that means just the i value is updated nothing extra is executing just that here i was initially zero now it reached this point for that we write a single line like this after that we are the requirement is we need to take the second string so for that we need another variable so for j is equal to zero again it has to reach this point so str2 of j not equal to dollar symbol both things should happen. I should increment, J should increment because I is the index for STR1 and J is the index for STR2. So, both I and J should get incremented. So, after that here, we need to do something. So, you should not terminate it with a semicolon and what should be done in this loop? STR1 of I should be equal to STR of J. So, here this M will come here. After that, both i and j are incremented. Next letter o will come here. Next r will come here. Then n like that. Okay. So, both i and j are incrementing and str1 of i is equal to str2 of j. This should repeat till str of j not equal to dollar symbol. So, that means after that, str1 of i equals slash 0 to mark the end of the string. Now, if you uh, give a print for str1, uh, we will get the combined string. So, I think the program is uh, clear. We will check the output. We need to enter the first string, say good, then a dollar symbol, then morning, again a dollar symbol. Concatenated string is good morning. So, one way is to use the library function. If you are asked not to use library function, this is one method. We have one more method by adding one more string, say, str3, which is a third string to combine both the strings. If that be the case, the content of the program will vary. How it will come? Say, if you are writing str of 3, then this i should till str1 should be just the same. After that, say if we are giving this variable say as k, then k is equal to 0 to i, same value. After that here, it should be k is equal to 
after the k value j should be 0. We can modify like that. Till i is equal to 0, str1 not equal to dollar symbol i plus plus and k plus plus. So this is a new variable for a loop variable for the third string. Similarly here k should be 0. So at that time what should happen ST, str3 of k equals str1 of i. So this should move in the same way because both k and i will be starting from 0 and till null both should get incremented. So here you give value k. So now what will be the result? String 3 will be having string 1. After that it should move to the second case for j is equal to 0, str of j not equal to uh, dollar j plus plus and here it is k plus plus and here str 3 of k. Here k is not initializing so it will be in the existing value itself. str 3 of k is equal to str 2 of j. Then str 3 of k will be null to mark the end of it. Then you can print str of 3. So now we have modified it in another logic using three string variables. Now let's again check the output. First string say good terminated with a dollar symbol. Then second string is morning again terminated with a dollar symbol. Again we got the same thing. So we have implemented it in two ways. One is using three variables. This is more uh, straightforward, but we are using three variables. In the last ex last logic, what we are doing is we are uh, adding string 2 to existing string 1. We can do in any ways.